Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a part two of a Q&A that's all about kind of my weight loss journey and working out and my top questions that I get asked, part two. with you guys kind of why I decided to start losing weight a little bit more about my fitness journey and what I'm doing right now and kind of my tips on how I got started um, with my workouts with my healthy eating and all that sort of stuff so I'm also doing a Q&A with one of my instructors Helene she's at base camp fitness which is my gym that I go to during the week this is where I train every day base camp fitness it's amazing and Helene is one of the instructors there and I thought it would be fun to kind of get a female's perspective on some of these questions, especially issues with comparing to other girls or like bulking or lifting weights um, and just kind of a female's perspective being in the fitness industry. I'm going to put the link down in the description box where you can click on it and go read the Q&A I did with her. She's going to be answering very similar questions to what I'm answering, but just more from like a trainer, fitness, health professional's perspective. So make sure you click that link to go read that blog um, after you finish watching this video. So now I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I get a lot. And if you haven't watched part one of this video, I'll leave that down below as well. I did a video answering more just about the gym and working out a Q&A. And then I also did a blog with my personal trainer, Bo. And you can click the link and go to that interview as well. So the first question is, why did I decide to start losing weight? Um, I get asked this all the time, why I didn't start losing weight sooner and why did I let myself get to over 500 pounds before I actually decided this is it and I'm going to start losing weight now. And I think for me, it was, I was just in a very unhealthy place with my body image, with food, and it wasn't until I felt ready to begin my journey and I wanted to start losing weight that I actually decided to take the steps and lose weight. And I think that's kind of why I was so successful in losing weight and I was able to stick with it is because I did it when I felt ready. And of course I wish I did it sooner. I wish I didn't let myself get up to 500 pounds and have over 300 pounds I had to lose, of course. But I think mentally starting when I was ready made a huge difference. And it wasn't I was doing it for anyone else because this person told me to or I was trying to prove this person wrong or anything like that. I did it when I was actually ready. So there's pros and cons to it. Yes, I got to over 500 pounds, which was very difficult, but at the same time, I did it for all the right reasons and I made it a lifestyle change, not just a diet. And I think that made it a lot easier to stick to my journey. But my kind of moment why I decided to start losing weight is I was at Disneyland, which is my favorite place in the whole entire world. And I got stuck going through a turnstile to get onto one of the rides. And I was completely embarrassed. It was one of the lowest moments ever. And I kind of laughed it off and pretended I was fine. But then went to the bathroom, bawled my eyes out and was like, you need to change. This has gotten out of hand. You're not happy. You're not living your best life. You're not able to do the things that you love. And I got home and that's when my journey began. I was ready, determined, focused. And I think that made all the difference in the world. So question number two is, do I find it harder or easier or do I like it better to train with a male instructor versus a female instructor? Um, when I first started my working out and going to a gym, they were all male instructors and my personal trainer is male as well. And I wasn't more or less comfortable. That's kind of just what I knew was it was with guys. Um, and then when I joined base camp, there were a lot of girls um, and female instructors. And I, for me personally, didn't feel like I liked one over the other. I think it all goes down to who you have a connection with and who you form like that bond and relationship with. And that goes back to like picking a gym or picking an instructor is, you know, whether you decide to do a group class or join a gym and have one-on-one -on -one training, it's all about who you feel that connection with. And I think that's what matters more to me than if it's male or female. Like, I don't feel if it's a female instructor, you know, I'm constantly comparing myself to her or don't want her to be teaching me or a male or I feel like I'm trying to impress them or, you know, have that relationship like 
thing with them. Like, it's just for me who I have that bond with. So no, it doesn't matter to me. Like I said, Bo, he's male. He's one of my favorite people in the whole world. And then I have base camp where they're mostly all female and I love all of them, Helene being one of them. And I think you just grow to have these different bonds and friendships with them. And that's what I focus more on than caring if they're male or female. So question number three is what is my favorite part of working out and my least favorite part of working out? So I think my favorite part of working out is actually being able to work out and move my body. When I was 500 pounds, I was not even moving pretty much. So to be able to just have my body be able to move and be active and feel so fortunate that I can be doing these things, I think is my favorite part. I also love seeing yourself become stronger and you know, at base camp, you ride the bike for like a minute, do weights for a minute, and you try to hit certain miles during the class. And the class is 45 minutes. And so when I first started, it was like I was barely doing like three miles. And then by the time I worked myself up, you work yourself up and I hit five miles in one class. And I love that feeling of accomplishment, of seeing yourself getting stronger, of getting better and better each time. And I think that's what I love so much about it is just pushing yourself, being able to actually work out and move, but setting like those little goals and hitting them and seeing your body actually become stronger is what I love. My least favorite part of working out, I would say is just kind of when my body starts hurting, I think that's really hard. Like when I really want to push myself on the bike, but I was having so much hip and leg pain that I kind of had to go back a little bit and take a step back. Um, I think that's my hardest part because when I go in the gym, I'm 100% focused, I'm ready to work, but when I have little like injuries or little things that I can't do it or like when my skin is holding me back or I can't do it because it hurts, I think that's the hardest part is not being able to give it your all when you know you can do so much more but physically and mentally, like you have to remind yourself like just to do the best you can because that's all you can do. Like I remember I pushed so hard on the bike to hit that five mile again, but then I couldn't walk for like two weeks because my hip pain where the skin like pulls on my legs was hurting so bad. So I think that's hard. And for me, that's the hardest part is knowing you can do more, but you really physically can't at that moment and allowing your body to rest and take it easy. So question number four is what advice would I give someone who wants to start a fitness journey or a weight loss journey? Um, my first advice would be make sure that you're ready and you want to do it for you, not for anyone else, not because you think some people might like you better if you lose weight or you're more fit or because you have a date in a few weeks and you want to try to lose weight to look good for that date. I think it really needs to come from within and because you want to do it for yourself. Um, so what I would do is I would just make a plan, write it out, write down your goals, what you want to achieve. And for me, like what I did is I said, okay, I want to lose 350 pounds. So I wrote 350 pounds out. I didn't set a, like, I have to lose it in this amount of time. I just said, this is my goal. And then I set small goals along the way. So I said, let's, let's lose 10 pounds right now. So as long as it took me to lose 10 pounds, that's what it took me. And then I would, you know, celebrate that or have that be a small goal and then do, okay, let's do 10 more pounds. So I think breaking it down, like having your overall goal in mind all the time, but breaking it down into little steps because it makes it so much less overwhelming than constantly saying, oh, I have 300 pounds to lose. I have 300 pounds to lose. It's like, okay, I can lose 10 pounds. And then, yeah, I can lose 10 pounds again, you know, and then figuring out what meal plan you want to eat or how you want to eat or making a menu or meal prepping or whatever is going to make you successful for it, write it out. Being organized, prepared, having a list, seeing it in front of you, I think is really helpful when you're first starting off as well. And then set small goals for working out or moving. Like I'm going to go for a walk three times a week for 10 minutes or every day for 10 minutes and then go to the gym twice a week. Or like I said, starting small and being able to gradually increase I think is definitely helpful instead of I'm going to go to the gym every day, I'm going to lose 300 pounds and I'm not going to stop, I'm not going to cheat, I'm not going to do whatever because that gets very overwhelming. So like I said, have your big goal in mind but break it down into small steps that you can keep increasing or keep doing and it's less overwhelming. 
And the thing I like about setting the smaller goals too is because you can accomplish it in a short amount of time and you feel proud of yourself. You feel like you accomplished something instead of waiting. Like I, for me, it took me three years to lose over 300 pounds, waiting three years to be proud of yourself or to celebrate, you know, reaching your goals. You have those moments where you can continue to be proud of yourself, continue reaching those goals, and that keeps you motivated to keep going. And, you know, being able to tell yourself, I'm proud of you, I love you, you're doing a great job, definitely help you to keep going. And that's why I think the smaller goals really help because you can actually attain it in a short amount of time and start feeding yourself that love and positivity, which is definitely going to help you keep moving forward. So question number five is, what advice I would give for a woman who wants to start lifting weights but is afraid that it's going to make you look too manly or, and that it'll make you bulky. When I actually started lifting weights, I saw the biggest changes in my body. For a long time, I thought it was only cardio. Cardio was going to make me lose weight. That's the only thing I had to do. And when the instructors and my trainer kind of forced me kind of to start lifting weights, and I let go of that fear of, oh, I'm gonna to become too bulky, I don't want big muscles, I just need to lose weight. I let that go, you know, my body really started changing. And unless, you know, one of the trainers told me, unless you're lifting like 50 pounds all the time and your nutrition is exactly dialed in to get that physique or that body type, there's no way you can put on that bulky muscle unless you're really trying or that's what you wanna do. And, you know, lifting the weights I was doing, I'm not, I don't ever do more than really like 10 pounds. Um, and you really start getting that definition. You're getting the strength. And the more muscle you build, the faster your metabolism is going to start working. And you're going to, so you're going to start burning fat faster by building that muscle. There's definitely lots of pros to lifting weights. And I would not be afraid to start, you know, looking like manly or getting those big bulky muscles. Um... So lifting weights did actually help me on my weight loss journey to not only lose weight, but have my overall body composition change. And I don't think I would be where I am today with my body, the muscle tone definition, my strength, if it weren't for lifting weights. Definitely don't be afraid to lift weights. They actually are helpful and I love lifting weights now. So question number six is what advice I would have for someone who wants to start losing weight but has no idea about how to change their food or diet or nutrition. So I think this goes back to you need to, you know, there's tons of different ways out there. There's, you know, ways to track it on your phone, My Fitness Pal, calories, macro counting. Um, there's different programs out there that you can join or go to. But I think you need to look at what's going to work for you. If it's, you know, going on the keto diet and giving up carbs and you think that you can sustain that for a long amount of time to be able to make that your lifestyle, or is it going to be more like Weight Watchers where you have points and you're more free to eat whatever foods that you want to and stick with those points? Or macros where you get a certain amount of fats or carbs or proteins and you want to be more like calculated and specific with that. I think it needs to be something that you're comfortable with and that you feel you can stick to. For me, I would never be able to give up carbs. I would be angry, cranky, feel deprived. And when I would allow myself maybe a treat to have carbs, I would scarf it down because I just love it so much and it would be like going back to like that food addiction. So for me to give up a food group like that that I actually really love is not good for me, you know, for me to be able to sustain. So for me, I picked something that I knew I could stick to. I count calories and that's just what works for me. So I think the best thing to do is to figure out what works for you and then being able to stick to it because this is a lifestyle change. We're not going to try to just quickly lose weight and then once you lose the weight, go back to how you were before. We need to make this a lifestyle change and, you know, picking a plan that, like I said, you can keep going for the rest of your life on or things like that are definitely going to help so you can maintain, not put the weight back and just live a healthy lifestyle. So the last question I'm going to be answering is how can we as women support one another without feeling that constant competition or judging others or wishing you had other people's body. The best thing that I can just say is remember we're all in this together. We're all either at the gym or trying to lose weight or maintaining a healthy lifestyle, you know, to make sure that ourselves are the best that we can be. And if, you know, you're at the gym and working out, we all kind of have the same goals in mind. You know, we all are trying to be healthier, more fit, you know, 
lose weight, whatever it is. So we're all working on ourselves and we're all at different stages of our weight loss or our fitness journeys. So, you know, to try to compare yourself who maybe, like for me, I had 300 pounds to lose. Why would I compare that to someone who may be trying to maintain or gain weight? Like we're all at different stages. So I think if we're just, you know, supporting others, knowing we all have different goals in mind, we all are at different levels of our fitness journey. Some of us may have been training for 10 years already at a gym, where others it's our first week. So you're not going to be at that same level. And I think, you know, the best thing is smile at people. If you see someone struggling, you know, see if there's a way you can help them. Um, it doesn't mean because someone else might have a great body, it doesn't mean you don't have a great body or you can't have that body that you dreamed of because they have it. You know, we can all be healthy, we can all be fit, and we can all be strong, you know, without feeling that constant need to compare. And, you know, if we just can offer that support and love to one another and help rise each other up and lift each other up, I think that's really what we all need, especially as women, to just be there for each other and to be there, you know, to support each other without tearing others down because tearing others down doesn't make us any better or helping others doesn't make you not shine as bright or any of that because at the end of the day, we're all trying to do the best we can and live the best life we can and the more love and support and positivity we have, it's only just gonna make not only our lives better, but everyone's lives around us better. And the world definitely needs a lot of love right now. So that's just the best advice I can give is, remember we're all at different stages. We're all trying to be the best we can be. And you know, a smile goes a long way. So instead of you know comparing yourself to others or being jealous of someone else, you know, be friends with that person. And just because someone might have this perfect body, you don't know what they're going through or what they're struggling with or you know how they may be jealous of you because of whatever reason, you don't know. And so spreading love is so much better than hate because jealousy and negativity is only gonna bring more of that into your life and you don't want that. So be there for one another, support one another, you know, show love to one another and just know that we're all in this together. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, I know I answered a lot of like more fitness questions in the other one, but I just kind of wanted to do this, especially with Helene, as like, you know, women supporting women and being there for one another. I think that, you know, we could all use, you know, that support and that love and that help because at one point or another, we all need help. We all need the love and support and encouragement because, you know, life can knock us down and, you know, the more people we can have to kind of help lift us up or help us stand back up is really important. So please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Go check out my other video and the blog I did with Helene and Bo. I'll leave those both down below. And I hope you guys are having a great day. If you have any other questions, please leave it down in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.